welcome to the world of building design tutorial. This is Revit MEP sprinkler system design tutorial number three. So in this tutorial, I would like to show you how to add your plan views into your project browser. So if you remember from the previous tutorial, we uh, created uh, multiple um, elevations and also we copied and monitored the elevations uh, in our sprinkler system model. So initially we had two levels that uh, that was not sufficient for this uh, model because it's a multi multi level building. So we copied multiple other levels for this um, architectural plan and also we monitored it for the for the purpose of coordination with the architectural plan and in this tutorial we want to focus on while we have all of this um, you know levels created or copied why we don't have it in our project browser on the left hand side which we want to now work on that and and see how we have to how we have to have them all shown up on the project browser so as you can see the first two uh, mechanical or a sprinkler system levels, level one and two, uh, their uh, grids or their uh, datum symbol showing with the blue uh, color, while all these other levels that we created or copied, they are still black. This basically means that these are not still physically uh, showing up on the left hand side project browser and that's what we have to, to work on to bring it in here. So. So the way we do that is that you have to go to the view tab on the top and then go on to the plan view this command that's called plan view you click on that and then you go to first uh, selection which is a plan or floor plan so once you are in the floor plan you see all of the levels that we copied or we created in here as a copy from the level one and two they are all showing up in this list while they are not on the project browser. So basically, that's why we have to bring in to the left hand side. So, um, and you see that there is a there is a phrase here saying "Do not duplicate existing view." So if you uncheck this, you would see the other two levels that we had as a default originally. We don't want to copy them into our uh, you know project browser because they are already in there. So as a level one and two, so we don't want to. Do that so I'm going to check mark this back the way it was and now while we have these levels needs to be copied I'm going to press on the control button and then select all these levels number three four five and roof you know one at a time to have everything selected or highlighted then I press on okay so once I've done that let's go back to our elevation once I've done that you see all the levels or datum symbols are turned into the into the blue similar to this two level one and two meaning that these are all right here so as you can see on the HVAC floor plans we have one dash mic one two dash mic so and then the other levels that we just brought or we brought it to this project browser as under the HVAC Remember that this is a sprinkler system design and we're going to we're going to do that in the future tutorials how to we have to change this to go to a, a sprinkler system floor plan uh, as a you know subdivision or subdiscipline but for now the focus on this tutorial is only to show when you when you copy new uh, levels how we have to bring it into the project browser so so we're going to uh, focus on that for now. So for, for this purpose, I'm going to just rename these two levels to look similar to the level 3 to roof. So I'm going to right click on this and then just go rename. Just do level 1. Do the same for the level 2. Right click, rename, level 2. Okay. So once we have done all of this, uh, the next step would be creating a number of uh, ceiling plans. So the way we do that is that I'm going to go to um, our plan view command on the top. Instead of going to the floor plan, I would like to go to 
reflected ceiling plan. So, because we created multiple levels, you can you can uh, you can create multiple levels of ceiling plan. But for this purpose, we don't need any roof ceiling plan. We just need to create roof plan uh, ceiling plan for level three, four, and five. So I'm gonna hold the control button, select the number three, four, and five. Once I've selected that, I just press on OK. Once we have done that, uh, we don't see the we don't see the ceiling plan showing up in here. It's basically because it's somewhere else in this category or in this uh, project browser hierarchy. So if you look under mechanical here, you see that you have uh, three question mark. I go under three question mark, and you see there's a ceiling plan. And then when you drill in, you see that your ceiling plan level three, four, and five are hidden here. So basically because these are reflected ceiling, I wanted to move them to come and show up under the ceiling plan under the HVAC. I understand that this is not a HVAC um, you know, tutorial. Is uh, We will deal with it at a later tutorial. It's just because uh, we want to show how all the ceiling plans are organized under the same uh, directory. Uh, that's why we have to, to, to look at this and see how this process works. So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to come to this question mark ceiling plans, the new ones that we just brought to this, um, you know, to the project browser from floor uh, or from uh, plan view. So I'm going to left click on the or hold the control button and then select these three ceiling plans, level three, level four, level five. Once I have highlighted all of them, I come to this uh, property of the ceiling plans. I'm coming down, and first thing I'm going to look for is the discipline for this. So let's go back to discipline. So discipline is mechanical. So under sub-discipline, I want to go HVAC, and then I'm going to go on apply. Okay, so once we have done that, everything is moved from wherever the question mark was, they all moved under the ceiling plan <clears throat> and directory. So I'm going to also rename these two ceiling plan to look similar to the other levels. I'm going to go right click again, level one, and then do the same for here, going level two. So we have now organized all of our ceiling plans under the same directory and uh, we have uh, HVAC floor plans. So in the other tutorial in the future, we will show how we have to create and move everything for a sprinkler system design. This is just showing <clears throat> how you organize and you, were, you learned how to use the view tab and plan view for floor plan organization. So, for anything like that, next time you know where to have to search and how to have to organize your uh, plan views through sub-discipline and discipline uh, in the Revit MP. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, please uh, do not forget to subscribe in this channel of the World of Building Design and by pressing on the notification button, you will see the new tutorial as soon as they are posted.